You should not live with a kind heart. We have thought that being nice was a virtue. There was a time in history when it was the right thing to do. There is a tremendous amount of energy created on earth, and we are supposed to manage this well. However, if we are just nice, then nature will come to test us and discipline us. Then how should you live if not being nice? Do we need to live with malice? No, you need to live righteously. If people learn the laws of living correctly in today's society, then no one will ever face hardship if you live correctly. No one was able to give this teaching. For 50 years, people heard that you should be nice, so they thought all they had to do was that, but in the end, their souls are wounded. They live a hard life. It's now time to learn the right way of living. If you adhere to the teachings from thousands of years ago, and you study it and try to live that way, then how can the world improve and increase the quality of life? If you are unable to find this pathway, then it will be a sin to your descendants and the younger generation. We need to find the right way of living for the future so that our descendants can lead a life as humans without wasting any time. By living rightly, they will have a good life. This contributes to the advancement of knowledge and the reason our society advances as well. We are entering an era where we can research something grand. The time to pray and hope that God will help us if we beg is over. God has already created everything on this earth. How well we utilize and manage those creations will give us joy, pleasure, and happiness. If you don't know how to use or manage God's creations and simply ask God for a better life, then God will be frustrated and displeased. If you simply kneel before God, God has created everything in the world. God created a great amount of knowledge on earth to the point of advancing science that we can study galaxies and discuss different star systems in the universe. He created an environment where information to do anything is shared around the world through the internet. He provided technology to fly to the sky. We can travel anywhere on earth. The door to all the countries is open. Information can be shared by everybody in the world through the internet. What more can God give you? The time has come where if you beg God, then your life will become difficult. Since when? since the year 2013. Years leading up to 2012 are called Sanchan Shide, or the previous era. 2013 and after is called Huchan Shide, or post era. Sanchan Shide represents a time period to accomplish things. It was a time to accomplish everything. It was a time period to fulfill all the knowledge. It was a time period to create more energy of the universe to make up deficient universe energy. 
Sanchen Shide was a time period to make and create everything needed for human life on Earth. Now that Huchen Shide is upon us, how should people live? Do we need to create more? No, it's now time to use all the creations well. There has not been a time since the inception of the world where we have this much wealth. We are living in a world where there has not been a greater amount of knowledge since the creation of the universe. No ancestors have lived in such a world. They couldn't fly through the sky to the other continents. The closest way of travel they attempted was to risk their lives riding on a ship once in a while. We can zoom across the sky. We can hear and see people's movements in the United States live. Despite living in such a world, if we are faced with difficulty because we do not know how to live correctly, then we must have received the wrong education. Everything has been created. There is not a single thing that is not useful. There has not been a time since the creation of the universe where humanity produced this much wealth. This is the first time where this much treasure and diamonds have been accumulated. However, there isn't anyone who knows how to use this well. This is not a simple matter. These treasures are accumulated so that they would be used. Banks and financial institutions of the world have too much wealth on their hands and do not know what to do with it. They ask people to use it, but it is not being used. Why? because they can't find a suitable justification. For a huge sum of money to move, there must be a great justification. To use a small amount of money, you only need a small justification for it to move. From now on, for our lives in the future, we have to have a justification. Find a reason why you want to live. If you have an exact justification for your life, then nature will give you the material to accomplish it. Nature will give you the power to use that material. If you can't find that reason without proper education, humanity does not know how to live in the future nor the pathway. There is not a single place where they discover that pathway. If there is a place that found a way, then the rest of us can just follow that road. However, people have not found it yet. Humanity has advanced admirably but do not know how to live for the future. This is Huchen Shide. It was okay to have lived with a kind heart up to now. However, to live in the future, you have to live righteously. If you live with a kind heart, then you all will fail in life. You will be wounded, face failure, blame others, and curse others. God did not teach you to curse others. God did not teach you to blame others. Do not be greedy to gain something more. Do not try to have something more. Do not try to gain more spiritual power. Instead, develop yourselves. Spiritual power will be given to you. Spiritual power is given to you according to the amount of knowledge accumulated. 
If you try to force yourself to gain spiritual power, then corrupted energy will enter and try to destroy your life. Not all spiritual power is genuine spiritual power. If you recite a mantra or practice meditation to receive good energy, then that is greed.